Hey everyone, today we're diving into the world of portable Wi-Fi with a GL iNet Muddy V2, also known as the GL E750 V2. This little device packs a punch, promising secure and reliable internet access wherever your adventure takes you. The Muddy V2 is designed for the modern traveller, digital nomad, or anyone who needs internet on the go. It's a 4G LTE travel router, meaning it can connect to cellular networks and share that connection with your devices like laptops, phones, and, and tablets. Under the hood, it boasts a Qualcomm QCA9531 processor, 128 megabytes of DDR2 RAM, and supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands for fast and stable connections. It even has a micro SD card slot for storing and sharing files and a handy 7000 mAh battery that can double as a power bank for your other gadgets. But what really sets the Muddy V2 apart is its focus on security and privacy. It runs on WRT, a customizable open source firmware, and comes pre-installed with OpenVPN and WireGuard support for easy VPN setup. This means you can encrypt your internet traffic and protect your data even on public Wi-Fi networks, since it also works as a repeater. So whether you're working from a cafe, camping in the wilderness, or simply want a backup internet option at home, the Muddy V2 has you covered. It's compact, easy to use, and offers a great balance of features and performance. That's a quick look at the GLI Net Muddy V2, and if you're in the market for a portable travel router, this one's definitely worth checking out. Now, if you are still watching the video, I take it you were looking for a bit more of an in-depth review, and I've got you covered. So let's jump into this. Let's put away some of the cards here and get some of these out. So here is the pack that's going to have all your cables and bits and bobs in. We've also got the actual device itself, the Muddy. It comes with this handy mesh carry case, so you can keep it nice and tidy. Uh, which looks quite stylish uh, and breathable as well, which is great because this thing can heat up a little bit, especially if you're using it on the go. This little device is cool because you can change the USB port into an Ethernet port as well, so you can get Ethernet straight out of the device and into your laptop or whatever you have your Ethernet connection running on, uh, and that runs via the USB. That's pretty much everything in the box here, so let's get these things out of the way. Now, this is the actual Muddy device. Uh, on the top here, you've got the LED display. On the bottom, you've got USB-A and USB-C. Uh, you've got a mode toggle switch on the side, nothing on the top. You've got the power button on the other side, and underneath, you've actually got a little section here where you can actually remove, and you'll get access to the SD card slot and the SIM card slot. Now, to turn the device on, you simply press and hold the power button for about three to four seconds, and that will start everything up. Um, this device does take a minute or two to boot into, so you are going to need a little bit of patience here. Uh, and in this particular instance, the thing was dead on arrival. There was no battery power, so I did have to charge this for about 40-odd minutes to get a, good, get a good charge in here. Brilliantly, this thing comes with quite a lot of connections. You've got your UK plug, you've got your US plug, and your European plug. comes with an Ethernet cable as well. And like I said, it does take a minute or two to actually turn on and boot up. Uh, I did initially think this might just be for the initial turn on, but this seems to be something that happens every time it goes through the mill. Underneath, you'll find on the left hand side the nano SIM card slot, and on the right hand side the micro SD card slot. Uh, I set this up with the EE, no problems here in the United Kingdom. Now, setup itself was a doddle. All you've got to do is connect to the Wi Fi SSID that it's broadcasting. Uh, and then literally just type in your web browser 192.168.8.1, like on most uh, GLI Net products, and that'll get you to the admin panel where you'll go through that setup wizard, create an admin password, uh, and then get things going. Now, uh, I obviously set put the SIM card, the nano SIM card, into the device before getting to this stage. Uh, and just a heads up, when you do uh, go on the configuration panel with your new SIM card, in some instances, you might need to click the auto connect button, which is in the main interface. And if you find that your SIM card isn't working at all, then you may need to download your carrier's APN profile, uh, which will give the device the settings that it needs to get those things going.
All in all, it's a great travel router, uh, highly recommended by myself. One of my colleagues uh, from work actually got this on my recommendation just to pop in his car and have in-car Wi-Fi because his Land Rover actually only supports 3G. So everything is great. Everything's working brilliantly. I've left the link to this device in the description below. Please, if you are considering purchasing, purchasing this item, do so through my link. Uh, that gets me a, a commission at no additional cost to yourself and supports my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next review.